Hi guys, this is Karina. So I am back with another video tutorial on my template 10. So today we're gonna to be making a similar flower like the one shown here. Now this one is slightly smaller. This one is a 12 inch and I'm using less petals. Um, but pretty much it's gonna be the same the same style, just more petals. And I will be showing you as well how to make the rosette, which is the center in the middle. Um, so it was hand cut, no cutting machine, so anyone can do the center. It's super simple to do and super cute. Um, so stay tuned later at the end so I can show you how to, to um, make that center. So the template, this is what the template looks like. You will receive eight different size petals um, with this template purchase. And again, for templates, you can visit www.arielelisedesigns.com and you'll be able to find this template there, template 10. Um, so with this one in particular, I used the fourth, the third, and then the first petal. So now as you can tell, two of them are not the same. Um, they're a little bit different. Um, that's just because years ago when I created this template, there was a flower in mind that I had um, and that's where she came about. So I decided to include her because that's what, how I did it. So, so anyways, so yeah, so, so that's what I used for this. And as you can see, I used five petals for this one. So again, I used the first one, I used the third, and the fourth so I just didn't use the second petal and I just did five of each and then the cute rosette today like I said we're gonna make a slightly larger version super simple guys so for this one I use the so let's see okay so I did use the first one so I did not use the second one then the third the fourth the fifth and the six petals. So there's five petals that I used. And this time I did six of each one, okay? So let me show you how to prep. So I have a petal right here. So essentially what I did to all the petals is I folded them in the center. Just like that. Grabbed my wooden dowel. And I gave the ends a curl back, just like that. In the center, about two inches. Some glue. And then just cross them, just like that. So I did that to all the petals, okay? So to get started, just pretty much the same way I get started all the time. I am going to go around in a circle. So I'm just adding a small dot of glue and going around. And again, just do a, do a small little dot of glue just in case if we need to readjust any of the petals, we can just tear that petal off and then re-glue it because I don't always get it the first time, guys. So here, for example, I'm not really liking this one. Do you see that? Because I kind of want the circle a little bit more, so I am just going to lift it up. And I got the glue. And then glue. And I like that a lot better. And then just glue. Just like that. So now we need the same color as what we are using. So I am using 65 pound, pound cardstock. Wait, this is actually from Michaels from their Roses pack. And this is their, I don't, honestly, I don't even know how to describe this color. So it's not their pink color. I feel like this is like a, I don't know, Ecru light beige. I'll be honest, it's hard to describe it because, I mean, it's not comparable to their cream. Nonetheless, it's a very pretty color. So there you go. We need to cut a circle and then cover that, that hole. So then now you're just going to repeat. Grab the next petal size. You're going to add the glue. And now you're going to go in between. 
And this is pretty much it, what you're gonna do with all the petals. I'm just gonna add out a glue and go around. Glue gun, I am using my AdTech Pro 80. And I'm using, I have the thinner nozzle on there because you do receive, I wanna say two more different size nozzles, but I pretty much bought it because I wanted the thin nozzle, which I absolutely love. So I am done with my second. Now with this one, this flower, um, or template should I say, I like it because it's more of a flat flower. I don't know if that makes, it makes sense. Cause certain templates of mine, the flowers are, the petals are more lifted up. Not this one. This one lays a little bit more flatter. Now, the way that I'm showing you is typically how I use this template, but as I always say with my templates, you can use them however you want. I am just showing you my go-to way as to how I use this particular template. But if you want to use them a different way, go for it. So I am on to my fourth petal. And then you're just pretty much lining them up to that crease of the petal behind. And then you're just going around. So this is gonna be a two part because the next part I'm gonna show you how to do the rosette for the center. Um, because I do typically do it hand cut. I draw it out and then I cut it. Um, but if you have a cutting machine, I, for example, Cricut, because I do have the Cricut machine, they do have the image. They have certain images of rosettes, but to be quite honest, I don't like them. <laughs> so I just did my own. So I am down to my last petal. So as with any of my last petals, I always like to edit a little dot to the right side. And then I'm just lining it up. And I'm just gonna go around. Until we are all done. So again, I'm only using, I, I use six here, but for the smaller flower, I just did five. But I mean, if you wanna do seven, that's perfectly fine. And you can always add more layers. So this is five layers, but you can definitely go bigger. So this is my last one, so I'm tucking her in. And voila, there she is. Super cute. So I'm going to be back with part two and I am going to go ahead and show you guys how to make my go-to rosette center.